So hello Cyberland. My name is Marlon, the channel's old board hacks, and this video is about reworking this tool so that I can cut a hole in this piece of aluminum so I can make a clamp to replace this one on my drill press so that I can maybe try and do a little light milling. If you like what I'm doing here, please give me a like, maybe even a subscribe. Normally I don't put this at the very front of things, but frankly, I screwed up and have been filming over this over the last couple of months because of other problems, and so I never got the introduction correct. But anyway, on to the real videos. Okay, so right now we're going to grind out a new tool bit for this thing because this thing as you can see is not even on axis it just doesn't cut it's back scraping and that just doesn't work um i'm not going to have you sit here and watch me grind that out first of all it's going to take a long time <clears throat> secondly um i could i need to be able to see a little better and thirdly you don't want to listen to grinding for 20 minutes so I'll bring you back as soon as I get this roughed out, at least, and I'll, I may show you a couple, three steps here. See you in a few. Okay. Let me turn on the whole light here. That's now been ground a bit. I know it's kind of hard to see exactly what's going on here. Well, that helps. But anyway, we now have a hook that should actually cut into the aluminum. Time will tell. Um, I mean, it's going to be worth a try. It's certainly better than what was there. So let me put it all back together and then stick it in the drill press and see how badly this chatters. See you in a bit. So does it actually cut? Let's find out. Well, it cut some better. So anyway, here's the final result. By recutting this bit, I was able to get a good cutting surface. It actually did take reasonable chips out. Had to change the rake and all that crud. But anyway, it worked. And we'll set that stage right. This is the cord that ended up coming out. I'll find some use for that. Flying saucer, perhaps. Ooh. Anyway. Yeah. If we look at the cut here, and I know it's hard to see, but there's actually an area right here that's a decent cut. Everything else is just pure garbage in there. And there's a real step here from because I was coming in from this side. Um, so, does this fit on the chuck or on the uh, drill press? No, it doesn't. The hole is undersized, and I'm not going to try and finish this up because, frankly, this is woefully inadequate. What I am going to do is I'm going to hack this off about like here. And perhaps even here. And then I'm going to set up on my lathe a four-jaw chuck that I just bought. But I don't know if it fits the lathe yet or not. That's going to be another fun thing. In fact, I'll run a video on that because there's, I'm sure, some interest out there in <clears throat> what chucks are available 
or the uh, Velvor mini lays, I, and which then, of course, makes it up to all of the 7x14, 7x12, 7x14 mini lays. And once I've got that done, then I'll chuck up this and center up on that smooth section right there. I'll dial that in on the four jaw. And then I'll bore this out to the right diameter. Then I'll proceed to cut out what I'm planning here, which is this is offset a bit. It comes in at the side will be flat. I'll cut around this in the long run with a hacksaw and whack the thing out to get to where I want to go. But anyway, that's what's, oops, sorry about that. That's what's happening with this project. And as a thought, the uh, Chinese XY table on a drill press, the Chinese XY table is actually better than the drill press of all things. And so do I recommend that table? Yeah, I kind of do. It takes a lot of work to get it reasonable, but once you get it reasonable, it's good for basic work if you've got something to work with it. As a precise drilling fixture, it's excellent as a precise drilling fixture. Anyway, so thanks for watching. If you like, give me a like if you would, please. And I'd love a subscribe. And I hope everything goes well with your life. Bye.